Hello YouTube! Welcome back to another video. Today I have a special one for you guys. I'm reacting to the version 3.6 special program for Genshin Impact. Now I know, I, I do know of some of the things that are coming, uh, namely Kave and Baiju from what I've uh, seen in Twitter over the drip marketing. Uh, I'm more excited to see what else is coming out this patch. Uh, if you did, if you guys haven't seen uh the trailers yet, uh, do come and watch it with me, and uh, leave a comment if you find anything interesting or if you weren't expecting certain things to have come. To have come out in this update, yeah. <laughs> My English is bad. Anyways, <laughs> on with the video. Three point six special program, Oil Verse. I come from an ancient oh. race. We have existed for a very long time. Hello. Possibly longer than any records in existence. Oh wow. The history of dragons starts from the very beginning of Tavan. Nikita? Dragon King? Dragons? We were victims of the apocalypse. Is this a new area? We also became the apocalypse itself. Hey yo. Oh. Is this what they've become after experiencing the apocalypse? Oh shit. Is this no can withstand the power of the apocalypse? Holy crap. Who is this voice actor? This is amazing work. Oh shit. Both of you have only existed for a fraction of what you know as time. Yet you call yourselves lords of this land by leaning on the Nikita story quest part 2? Is there any way to avoid fighting them? Hey. Whoa, holy shit. What are you? You're black and white? Oh no, you're green. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, that. Is that like DNA strands and. Oh. What a unique boss. Life, death. Aishu, let's go! Set of laws. Oh! That beat drop hard though. God damn. A bitter pill to swallow. Taking a turn for the better. Ooh, is that a dendro shield? Feast your eyes! Kave! Watch and learn! Play more? That's what Twitter has predicted. Ooh, he uses the briefcase as part of his attacks. Also, can we just talk about the music? The music. Holy shit. Kave? The competition Garmush? is heating up. Oh. oh. And here's Kave bringing up the rear. Oh, okay, so I'm just talking. Okay. Arzan? Whoa. What is happening? Skarmush? Wait, sorry. Wanderer and Zaino. Kave? What's Kave doing? Yo. What? <laughs> A, par A parade of providence. Oh, awesome. hey everyone. Look at that. I'm Zach Aguilar and welcome to the Genshin Impact version 3.6 special program. <laughs> wow, I, you know, I didn't expect we'd appear right after the trailer this time. I hope you all enjoyed that. Holy anyway, shit. We've got a jam-packed uh, program today. A lot of things went on. Have more hosts than usual. God damn. So why don't we go around and take a moment to introduce ourselves? <laughs> sure thing. Hey everybody, it's so good to see you Nahida. all. Again. I'm Kimberly Ann Campbell, the voice of Nahida. I'm so excited to finally be back and share new content with all of you. Oh, well if it isn't the renowned And Dory traveler. as well, along Hello, with Baiju. Everyone. My name is Anjali Pinapanani and I'm the voice of Dory. Thank you for always supporting the business of Lord Sangama Bay with your shiny mora. I believe this is I'm Dory's first time for... Baiju from Boo Boo Pharmacy. Yeah, Dory and Baiju's first time for discomfort. special program. And how many days have the symptoms persisted? Yeah, uh, mm, I'm pretty good, thanks, doctor. But I <laughs> do have this problem where I am way too obsessed with my cute little chibi. Hello. Aww, me too. <laughs> anyway, I am sure a lot of our viewers have already seen our characters pop up in the game by now. True. Yeah, you've all been a part of the traveler's journey at some point or another. That's right. And we'll be seeing everyone again to experience some new stories together in the upcoming version. Nice. Yeah, I can't wait. It seems like a really jam-packed you know, update. Jump into some so I'm looking forward to this. Content, like, you know, I don't know, one of our new playable characters in version 3.6. Uh, let me know if I'm saying this right. I think his name is 
Baiju? Baiju? Is that how you say it? <laughs> mm, real subtle, Sean. <laughs> nice. I'm sure everyone's waiting to see which event wish the new characters will be appearing in. Oh, yes. So, let's get to our first redemption code, and in the meantime, everyone will also be able to check out some details about the version 3.6 event wishes. Sounds good. All right, redemption codes in... Redemption code will be in chat for those people that are watching live. All right. So we have Nahida and Nilu first. Nilu's getting oh Nilu's getting a comeback. That's fast, damn. And phase two is Baiju and Ganyu, yo, along with Kabe. Oh okay. For me, Baiju is a must pull. I, you know, out of all of the characters that I have for Samurai at the moment, the one character that I'm missing is Nilu. But I don't really feel like pulling for her, sadly. Ooh, Jade Fall Splendor Catalyst. So this is Baiju's new weapon then. Alright. Remember to redeem the codes quick, guys. These expire... Uh, four a.m.? My god, I'm bad with time. On the road, yeah. <laughs> take ample time to pause. And appreciate the wondrous scenery along Ooh, the way. That. You're about to collapse, aren't you? Oh, who's that? Oh, that's Changsheng. The doctor will see you now. Ooh. Taking a turn for the better. Is that Dendro Shield? I'm so confused. What is that? It looks like a shield. I could be wrong though. <laughs> okay. That snake was awesome. Also, its design totally popped up on Baiju's shield. Oh, like okay, that. so it was a shield. I know, okay. I'm afraid of snakes, but Changsheng sounds so cute. Yeah, me too. And Changsheng also, is amazing. Random thought, but isn't Baiju the first male character with glasses? Oh wow! Oh. I think hey yo, I think you're right. not wrong. Personally, I love his voice. I think it's amazing. Uh, also, <laughs> you can't with purple pants. Not spiced at you all. You really can't. <laughs> You know what? Okay, let's talk about Baiju. Baiju is a doctor and <clears throat> pharmacist <clears throat> skilled at healing. Sexy. I mean, yep. His abilities yep. have helped Ubu Pharmacy <laughs> make a reputation for itself in Liyue Harbor. But most importantly, Baiju is a gentle and refined physician, and his heart is dedicated to helping the world. He tends to anyone who comes to Bubu Pharmacy seeking medical attention, regardless of their wealth or status. Aww. Oh, I see. So he's that That's kind wholesome. of doctor. That's wholesome. What kind did you think he was? Oh, uh, I don't know. I kind of thought he might be the type of doctor who does good things, but with his own nefarious plan. Hey, yo. You know, like, I can save you, but for a price. <laughs> I guess he just Ooh, that voice though. Dang. Like <laughs> well, I give your imagination some credit, but sorry, <laughs> he isn't quite the suspicious doctor like you imagined. In fact, he's actually a trusted physician among the people of Liyue Harbor. Everyone prefers to go see Dr. Baiju, no matter how serious the problem may be. Mm. But even though he works as a skilled physician, his own condition isn't so great. I know people say that doctors are the worst patients. Is this is bringing me flashbacks from well? <laughs> Act 5 of uh, Chapter 3. Complicated, <laughs> and I don't want to give away any spoilers, so travelers will have to check him out in-game to learn more about story. we get a story quest for him? So, Zip, that's all you're here out of me. <laughs> okay, well, no matter what happens, I just hope that he'll be able to take care of himself. Me too. But besides his help, Baiju also has some other troubles to worry about. For example, Director Hu will sometimes put up ads outside <laughs> the Ubu Pharmacy to promote her Classic Hu Tao. Classic Hu Tao. Poor little Chi Chi is terrified of Hu Tao. So there are some things <laughs> where Baiju really has his hands full. Uh, yeah, that what a classic. Like something that Hu Tao would do. Yep. As fate would have it, Baiju's master and the former director of Wangsheng Funeral Parlor both studied together under the same master. Oh, but the two had that's differing cool. views on the concepts of life and death and ended up going their separate ways. Their differences were passed down to their apprentices, which has led to Baiju and Hu Tao's different views. In version 3.6, yeah, let's go story quest. Baiju's story quest to hear some of Baiju's inner thoughts. I'm not gonna attempt to pronounce that. Holy crap, Laganaria! I can't wait to check it out. <laughs> in, in his search Sheesh. for discovering new treatments and cures, Baiju will often choose to test new medicines on himself. 
As you spend time with Maiju in the field, you can make use of his knowledge of herbs and interact with certain harvestable items, which will heal your current active character. So, an incentive to collect items. I see. It's safe to say that most of his combat abilities are focused on healing, right? Yep, that's right. Baiju's treatment in battle is usually performed in two healer. steps. Step one is to control a wandering sprite that cruises through the enemies and restores HP to his teammates. Step two is to create a shield. When the shield refreshes, ends, or is broken, not only will it provide healing, but it will also deal dendro damage to enemies. Baiju believes that even in a difficult spot, as long as the diagnosis and treatment are done properly, lives can always be saved. Sweet. That Looks burst like animation, though. Wow. The mountains of Liyue. For sure. Well, all right. I think that's all we have for Baiju. So let's move on to our next playable character. I bet many travelers Dang. already okay. know him well. We have coffee. I'm glad you gave me a chance. I always think it takes people with similar tastes to sustain a pleasant conversation. Kabe. Like how he uses the suitcase to attack. Is it a briefcase? I'm not sure. <laughs> Sheesh. I love Kaveh, man. Holy crap. Those attacks look amazing. Is that Dendro Infusion I'm seeing? Oh, cool. <laughs> nice. Okay, okay, okay. Did you see him make Dendro cores explode on command? That'll be useful for me. Yeah, that was crazy. And the toolbox, he has some cool accessories i am just oh, a toolbox oh, yeah. I, I, see. I see i see cool. <laughs> no, okay so since kave has some connections with dory i'll introduce him uh kave is an architect and has this like keen sense for beauty and the arts that he's developed ever since he was a child not to brag or anything but his magnum opus is the palace of alcazar saray which is crazy coincidence where dory lives <coughs> and his oh she became broke as well <coughs> functionality but also greatly incorporate his own artistic taste making them feel unique and noteworthy i hope we can enter he the palace like of alcazar so some, someday yeah. i'm not sure if we uh, can well, he but he doesn't quite yeah. lead the life of success and carefree spending like you might imagine uh, it's it's actually kind of the opposite. He hardly has enough more to survive. Ah, mood. Uh, okay, so <laughs> mood. he's broke. Interesting. Uh, why is that? Uh, well, it kind of comes down to Kaveh's personality. He's a very perceptive person, so he has this sensitive and delicate side to his character. Uh, he also has a strong sense of empathy. He can understand he's an empath for real, for real. People, Let's go. Which may actually be one of his sources <laughs> of artistic inspiration. For example, when someone is trying to sell something to Kabe, all they have to do is make up some story about how the proceeds go to helping poor children, and he'll practically hand over his mora. Like all of it. <laughs> wow, what a nice but gullible guy. <laughs> yeah. Mm. On top of that, he doesn't limit himself with the cost of construction. And take the Palace of Alcazar's array as an example. Maybe only a real maniac architect like him, who doesn't care about the costs, could ever build something as amazing as that. So you gotta respect him for that. Yeah. But it's probably these kinds of situations that have made him become roommates with all hate them. <laughs> but aren't like all hate them and Kave polar opposites? We see them bicker all the time. About what? Well, Kave thinks that all hate them lacks feelings for others and always disagrees with his point of view. But like Anjali just said, Kave can understand how many people feel. But understanding doesn't always mean agreement. Right. Mm. Yeah, I think we're starting to understand Kave's character a little better now. So next we can move on to some of his talents. Yeah, for sure. As an architect, Kabe can help everyone save some materials oh. by creating furnishings. And his mapping abilities might come in handy during battle. As a unique and creative designer, Kabe must always bring tools with him. His toolbox, named Maroc, not only provides Kabe with tools, That's but also called has Maroc. many interesting uses. For example, Maroc's mapping all ability right, allows him e. to scan the battlefield, causing all dendro cores within a certain AoE to burst immediately. Oh. In addition to that, when Maroc completely releases its energy, okay. it converts Kabe's attack damage to dendro so damage dendro infusion. and increases Kabe's combat capabilities. Uh, okay. okay. I can see that being a bit of a hindrance, though. Time, Kabe won't be hurt by them. In fact, one really? of Kabe's talents actually causes him to recover a set amount of <gasps> HP when he takes damage from a Dendro Wait. Core. 
It's always oh, yeah, good that's good cool though. Work. Holy crap. Chong Chong always gives Baiju a lot of help too, you know. Exactly. But Yo. Murak is pretty remarkable. It can even wield a sword for Kabe. Oh. That's a pretty awesome toolbox. Oh, wow. <laughs> you know, right? <laughs> uh, okay, so that should be just about everything wow. we have for Kabe. How should I say this? I think his character has more depth than we expected. Well, he is a distinguished architect from the Nation of Wisdom, so we shouldn't underestimate him. Yeah, Kabe wait, that's kind of gold though. Main event for version 3.6, so maybe we give some details about that next. Hold oh, up. Okay, okay, I got this one. Parade Our main event for of version 3.6 is the Academia Extravaganza. In addition to the variety yeah, of celebrations, the event also serves as a chance for the six Darshans to compete. The extravaganza Ooh. consists of two main parts: the Wisdom Gala and the Inter Darshan Championship. In the Wisdom Gala, the six oh, Darshans have shit. six corresponding activities to show off the style of each respective school. As for the Inter Darshan Championship, each of the Darshans will be selecting a single member to represent their school in a large competition. Oh, that's so cool though. Holy crap. So maybe we can talk about some gameplay that travelers can expect to see. It sounds like we'll be getting a total of six different game modes this time. That's a lot. Yeah, <laughs> each of the six Darshans will be compiling their research to provide fun mini games for everyone to enjoy. For example, Layla's Rodawahis Darshan will be setting up an astrolabe used oh no. for studying astrology at their booth. Oh when no. travelers adjust the astrolabe to the appropriate height and angle, I'm not saying I'm bad at puzzles, it's just light up um... and form a pattern. Look, this time the pattern is a cute little fungus. <laughs> That does look like fun. Nice. I'm not saying Here's I'm bad at puzzles, one. just The scholars um... from Kasharawar will have a game that displays their understanding oh of mechanisms and architecture. Travelers okay. will learn how to use the least <clears throat> possible materials to build a road that meets certain requirements within a limited space. Ooh, I'm oh, already getting okay. a lot of ideas for this one. Okay. <laughs> it seems travelers will have a lot of freedom to try whatever arrangements they can think of to reach those goals. Uh -huh. That's cool. Okay. Next is Bahumana. They are taking their booth pretty seriously. They will be holding an archaeological activity where travelers will use specialized equipment to detect relic replicas. Holy travelers crap. will have to carefully observe the surrounding environment as they search and even eliminate external interference affecting the detectors to find the relic replicas. Oh, well, this is all very nice, but uh, are there any games where we won't have to go running around as much? I'm lazy. Oh, for the mood. <laughs> yes, there's something for everyone in these game modes. With this one, you can just relax and stay put while you listen to a story. Oh. But as you're listening, you also get to ask the storyteller some questions. If you're able to ask and uncover some key information, then you'll receive some clues to lead you to the truth of the story. Oh, very mysterious. Ooh, okay. Hmm. Spontamod, on the other hand, is preparing a small combat experiment to put travelers' combat abilities to the test within a set amount of time. Mm. Of course, they'll kindly provide a variety of potions to help travelers overcome situations in the experiment. Awesome. Very cool. And and last but not least is a little bionic experiment set up by Tainari's Amorta Darshan. Of Travelers course. Travelers will be able to control replicas of various creatures and command their Ooh. movement according to a specific rhythm. Hmm. And that should be everything we have for the Wisdom Gala. Wow, that's a lot so of mini games. Which Darshan's events are you all most excited about? Oh, you know, Spontamod, because that's what I'm all about with combat and and battle and victory and, and never losing ever. All right. <laughs> okay. Okay. Wow. I wonder how long this I is like going to last one. though because like it feels like it's a lot but yeah. I'm afraid yeah, we won't have a lot of time to do it and to yeah. Because I think that's about my speed. <laughs> oh, I get that. Especially if and events are like two weeks. That in addition to the Wisdom Gala, two weeks intervals. We still have yeah. the Inter Darshan Championship. This is a oh. contest of wisdom and courage and you won't want to miss seeing which Darshan is able to claim the title of champion. Very cool. Oh, and there is one more thing to mention here. Layla's oh, very own hangout quest will nice. be arriving with version 3.6, so be sure not to miss it. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Yay, we get to hang out with Layla. Awesome. Layla. Excited to check it out. Okay, and our next event will also be sense. taking place um, in Sumeru. Way new activity has suddenly been on the rise, mm. and the academia is dispatching researchers to respond to the problem. This time, we'll be helping scholars clear the desert of obstructions. Assemble the Waynut Slayer Cannon and repel the wandering Waynut. The Waynut Slayer Cannon, huh? Wow, yeah, that's quite the name. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. 
That would be useful in game. It's very effective against wing eat. Um, Our task uh, will be to clear out any monsters nearby and help with the preparations so the cannon can start attacking. I see you. I'm sure our travelers will be able to help handle the situation. Oh, yeah. Uh, we also have one other event for travelers to continue improving their combat abilities. During the challenge, travelers will have to complete three consecutive combat rounds. During each round, the system will randomly activate one or more of four possible effects at set intervals of time. Oh, so I guess it's safe to say that no two rounds will play the same. I guess hmm. not. Yeah. Okay. If the buff you receive happens to synergize with your team composition, then your team will... Gosh, really this feels like a lot. I personally think it's interesting to have these random elements added to the challenge. I feel like this feels like that other uh, combat event that I believe was in totally. version 3.0. These buff effects are all pretty powerful. The travelers should definitely try some different team combinations and see what synergies they can come up with. Hmm. Also, the overflowing okay. mastery event will be returning once again Jeez, with double drops a for a limited time to help travelers keep leveling overflowing their mastery is all, of course always welcome. In addition to the events we've already mentioned, there will be one more event taking place in an all new area. All right, so, so we are getting a new I area. I think we should reveal the new area. Oh. No, 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 but before we do that, let's take a quick yes, break. Yes, a breather, please. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, sounds good. Oh, right. But one more note, we'll have some info regarding new, new artifact sets. sets. So break. new era so with sure new artifact sets. Let's go. All right. So once again, your redemption code. Please remember to claim this before it expires at 4 a.m. tomorrow. For those of you that are on Twitch, the code has been sent in chat. Feel free to claim it before it expires. Oh, two sets of artifacts. So we're getting a new domain entirely then. Alright. HP plus 20. Oh. A hydro one. Okay. <laughs> Attack and hydro. Okay. Yeah, it feels like there's a lot coming this update. I like I'm welcoming it, but at the same time it just feels like a lot. Like, especially with the Interdarshan thing, the, uh, the Academia Extravaganza, it feels like a lot. Welcome back, everyone. Yeah, all we right. are back. New and area. To show an all new area being added to the game. That's right. And I hope you're all as excited as we are. This area is located deep in the desert, in the northwest of the desert of Hadramaveth. According to legends, it was one of the main All rifts right. that monsters were emerging from during the Conria disaster 500 years ago. Ooh. And the site of a battlefield where God suppressed the power of the abyss. Oh. Although we're getting it was deep into the law. Desert, the ecological system has completely changed due to the power of the abyss. And it has oh, become a large, cool. uninhabited area of swamps and wastelands. So, you're saying that we might be able to uncover some buried secrets about Conria there? On second thought, it kind of sounds like it might be dangerous. Yeah. Luckily, we have some little helpers to assist us in our search. Oh. There will be a party named Sorush waiting for us that will lend us its abilities, allowing travelers to freely fly across parts of the area Pari. and access some locations okay. that would be impossible on foot. Why would it be Wait, impossible on foot? We'll be able to fly around now? <laughs> yeah, this will be your chance to fulfill your dreams. Act. Wait, we can fly? Yes. Oh, wait. After helping Sorush recover its power, there will be a small event for travelers to help it continue its training. We will guide Sorush to drive away enemies, conduct speed training, and complete oh, puzzles. Oh, so you sure get to, to check drop bombs on them. Oh, that's travelers cool. Travelers may also encounter a new enemy during their journey in version 3.6, the Iniquitous Baptist. Ooh. Its abilities include using multiple elements in battle and creating shields for corresponding elements oh, to geez. reduce damage. It definitely looks like it'll be a formidable enemy. That doesn't look That's fun. That's not all. We have two more interesting enemies that travelers will encounter. The Animo and Hydro oh. Hilly Churl Rogues. These New Hilly, Hilly Churl variants? Tibet and do not belong to any particular Hilly Churl tribe. Sometimes they assist other Hilly Churls or tribes in need of help. And they also have a unique Oh, that's cool. Style. They're adding Even though elemental like Hilly Churls. That still won't stop the traveler from bringing new hope to the region. Some clues related to Conria are also waiting to be uncovered here, so it's definitely worth exploring. And last but All not right. least, in version 3.6, the legendary dragon of Berger, Apep, will Oh jeez, wait, dragon how many bosses are we getting? An emerald green dragon that ruled Sumeru. 
with its color later changed to that of yellow sand. Recently, it seems to be suffering from some kind of illness. Travelers will be making their way to the Dendro Dragon's habitat to face it in battle, oh so we must my be God. careful. The battle will be split into three phases. An interesting part to take note of is that in the second phase of the fight, travelers will need to protect the Dendro Dragon from monsters huh? in order to prevent the dragon's illness from getting Oh, worse. okay. Huh. Wait, oh, what? That's different. Yes, and in the third phase, the Dendro Dragon will unleash some extremely powerful attacks. So travelers will need to be careful to avoid those. Oof. Oh yeah. Ooh, what this is point, happening? You don't know what the Dendro Dragon has been through and what exactly caused it to change into its current twisted form. Perhaps we'll get some more answers after we faced it in battle. Yeah. So the new story quest. The dragon has a close connection with Sumeru's history and gods. Going into its lair and determining what's causing its current condition is an important task and will be helpful to the entire nation of Sumeru. So, if you'd like to learn more about the Dendro Dragon, then be sure to check out chapter, chapter two. two. Of story Holy oh, crap! Sure. I think there will be a lot of interesting things for travelers Yo, to learn in this one. that's so amazing! So be sure to look forward to it. Absolutely. And uh, that's about all we have for new content in the upcoming version. But before we wrap things up, we have an announcement regarding Genshin Impact's Ayo? music. The second album for the Sumeru region. Let's go. Unfathomable Sand. Hundred and eight tracks. Also be releasing wow. Soon. Oh, nice. Yes. Nice. I love the Sumeru region music. <laughs> yeah, I do too. This album is preach, comprised preach. of three discs, compiling all the original music that the Hoyo Mix team created for the Sumeru region, spanning versions 3.1 to 3.6. Okay, this is super cool. I'm yeah. super oh, excited. Yeah. Yeah. Be sure and pick that up. I'm hyped. Right, so let's watch a trailer of the new OST and give our final redemption code of the day. All right, final redemption code. Ooh. I absolutely love the Sumeru music. Be it the forest or be it the desert. It's always, it's always so good. Oyovas never misses. All right, final redemption code will be in chat for those of you on Twitch watching this live. For those of you all at, for those of you all watching it on YouTube, please remember to claim all these codes quickly before they expire at 4 a.m. later. And can we just take a moment to appreciate the splash art? It's the gang. It's the gang. It's the four of them playing TCG. Let's go. <laughs> I still remember when Al Haytham's trailer dropped. Like, oof. Seeing the interactions between the four of them was amazing. Also, rip my storage space. Because I play Genshin on my phone a bit, so... Yikes. The amount of space Genshin's on my phone is... Oof. Alright, so it seems like there's gonna be a lot to enjoy in the new version. I know, right? Yeah. You know what? I'm looking forward to spending more time with Nahida in her new story quest chapter. And, and, and confronting the new Dendro Dragon. Oh, yeah, nice. that's gonna be crazy. I'm, I'm super happy to have gotten to come on this special program today. It was my first time. This is so yeah. cool. Yeah, also, the that's amazing. Was so cool. Oh, so Definitely. Sad. It was. I think it's really cool that people will get to discover more about Baiju and that there's more to him than just the man who works at the Boo Boo Pharmacy. <laughs> He's got layers. True. True that. I'm looking forward to the new area, new playables, and of course, the academia extravaganza. I hope that event cool. lasts long. Yeah, for sure. Like, maybe but for like half of the patch the instead of, the of typical two it's weeks because so it feels like a rush. Guys. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. If Thank I have to finish it in two again. weeks. Of course. This is the end. No. I'll see you guys all in game. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Ah, seems like that's it. All right. Whoops. Okay. All right. I kind of want to go back to that. How do I go back? Wait. Give me a little sec. Let me while I find a way to head back. Right. Alright. I'm back. Okay. Let's just 
slowly go over through everything about this update. So, first off, new area. And it seems that we're getting a lot of uh, focus on the Dendro Dragon. And not only that, but also the lore itself for this area of the desert. And this new area of the desert, I would add. And here the story quest is, all, is amazing, hopefully. And also, can't forget about Kave. Like, look at this. Sight clear. Can I? Wait, we're just gonna little head back, okay? All right. Life, death, and the world around us all follow a set of laws. The beat drop and like the trappy beats. Holy crap! A bitter pill to swallow. Taking a turn for the better. And the Feast your eyes. Watch and learn. It's all so techno and so amazing. Holy crap. Sight clear. <laughs> that 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 all sounded really amazing. I'm really interested to see what happens here. In this section. Where apparently we're watching everyone. Duke it out. I believe it's the cat, the academia extravaganza <laughs> thing. See Kave running. The competition See? is heating up. Oh, Everyone is together. Bringing up the rear. Would El Hatham be like a moderator of some sorts? I wonder. <laughs> Given that he he's described. See, we saw we saw the wanderer there for like a brief second. Wonder if he's part of the. Um, I wonder if he's part of the new, but part of the Vahumana. Is that the one Darshan that was missing, or at the very least had a question mark over? Wonder if he joined under part of that, but we won't know until the update drops. Solo, welcome. Wow, I'm 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 like gobsmacked straight up. This is amazing. Nahida and Nilu coming out in the first phase, of course. Always welcome. I have Nahida, I don't have Nilu. Yikes. Uh, Baiju, yes. I'll very likely be pulling for both Baiju and I'll try to get Kaveh at the same time. I would like to see how Baiju works. And not only that, but to play with Kaveh seems... His kit seems pretty cool. Um, To be able to actively trigger dendro calls but at the same time while doing that healing yourself as well seems it seems like a pretty fun place all to try might not be for everyone but i'm interested i love the dendro mechanic like right from the moment that it was added into the game itself i i've loved it baiju right let's have a little look see Right, we know that Baiju, um, from reading a bit of lore, we know that Baiju has been suffering from a little bit of a illness. We don't exactly know what it is, but yeah. Um, I wonder why it's lagging. Uh, but yeah, it would be interesting to find out more about it during this story quest, of course. And yeah, scrolling through, just going to have a look at, look see through his skills for a little bit. Hey, that yeah, this I think was a pretty cool addition. It gives you incentive to just grab things out of the blue, but I feel that it is a nice addition. It does incentivize me to just randomly grab stuff in the middle of the in the middle of like the forest and whatnot, but I think if it comes to things like major healing, I'm still going to just walk back to my statue of the seven. Or use food, if anything. It depends on how lazy I am. But it's a pretty cool addition, I would say. Baiju can periodically generate a seamless shield for your party members with healing effects. So he's a dendro healer. Certain reaction damage dealt by characters who are healed by seamless shields will be increased. And it also... So he's basically a buff. A buffer. In this case. It's pretty cool. I wonder, I wonder how Kaveh's kit's going to be like, because I'm interested. 
Merok's mapping ability can also be used for offensive purposes, dealing dendro damage. Besides enhancing Kaveh's combat abilities, it is also capable of causing all dendro pores within a certain AoE to burst immediately. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Right, so this part. The, the Academia Extravaganza. Right, so we had the Vahumana representative that's not confirmed, but from the looks of it, it will probably be the Wanderer, given that we saw bits of him in here. I could be wrong, I could be wrong, but it seems like that could be the case. Yeah, from Spontmart, Kasharawar, Haravatat, Amorta, Tawat. Yes, I, I'm not good at pronouncing the names. I'm really sorry for butchering all these. And Vahumana. The six different Darshans. It'd be pretty cool, but I think um one problem that I have uh with Genshin is that when it comes to big events, or at the very least the main event of the update, it usually doesn't stay long enough. It's usually around for about two weeks or so before it's just gone, poof and gone. I understand that you have a lot of events happening. I, I think we have another two more events apart from this happening. But I feel that I'm not really given enough time to really savor the events. Though I do understand uh, some players' perspectives in which, uh, in which uh, you know, you rather just play for the primos and, you know, more events means more primos. But, I mean, okay, with the way that Genshin's um, events have been going. They do drop a lot of law bombs in certain events, and it happens on a very like it's on like you also have like a really tight schedule to adhere to, because you only have two weeks to finish an event, which true doesn't really take that long. But at the same time, for those who are really pressed for time or are slowly getting burnt out, it's kind of sad that you miss these law bombs, and it might even like. Like, other people might be more familiar with future content as a result, and you might be left in the dust. And sometimes it's just not really a good feeling for certain people. I mean, including me as well. But there, there was a period of time in the past where I was genuinely, like, burnt out with Genshin. So I stopped playing, but apparently they dropped major lore bombs for the Wanderer, uh, previously Skaramouche. And I believe that was during the Iridori Festival when I stopped playing for a brief period of time before picking it up again at Golden Apple. Yeah. So it just kind of bugs me a little bit that this happens. But, I mean, you know, it's still nice to see that they are pumping out a lot of good content as per usual. Alright, so this is pretty much explaining all the different Darshan's games. We have Layla's Hangout series, which means that the next four star oh, is after Farazan, after Layla. Layla was released in 3.1, I think. I could be wrong. Uh, 3.2. Who came out in 3.2? Nahida. I think Nahida came out with Layla. Yeah. So 3.3 featured who again? Oh, my memory is all but lost completely. All right, so Hangout series, of course, is a good thing. Uh, wait, this means that I need four story keys, which means I actually need to start doing my daily commissions. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, your boy has been skipping out on some daily commissions uh, as of late. But, I mean, uh, yeah. I believe we'll have more than enough time to unlock everything. Alright, so more monsters. Yeah, this is the Weenut thing. And then Overflowing Mastery as well. Seems like we're getting a new... New... Dun new what's the word for it? New domain. Yeah. That'd be pretty cool. Always good to have more artifact sets. I, off the top of my head, can't remember each character's kit. Neither can I really think who, which each of this is good for who. The Voru Kasha's Glow. 
for anyone that's built off of HP, it can work for the two piece. Not sure about the four piece set though. Once again, this Nim's Dream seems like a really good uh seems like a pretty good uh set for any hydro DPSs. I could be wrong. But uh yeah, we'll see when all of it actually comes out. Now the new area that is unlocked. Alright, let's have a look. Let's read the description a little bit closer. All right. Legend has it that in the depths of the boundless desert lies a forbidden realm where few have ever stepped foot. Beneath the barren wasteland, along with the ruins of an ancient civilization and the legacy of the divine, only a hidden, lost darshan and mythical creatures safeguard the long-sealed memories. So it seems like there was a seventh darshan, or at the very least, in the past where they had more darshans. I think it was uh, said before in previous, I think Al Haytham's previous story quest. Yeah, where they where there existed more darshans. So perhaps one of the darshans were involved with studies of the abyss. Uh, I don't know. I don't read enough of the law, admittedly, to know all of this. So I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah. It, the whole area looks pretty cool. And hopefully uh, it won't have, I would like to say, annoying mechanisms like the sandstorms that we have for um, some other parts of the desert. Because exploring the, de the desert of Hadramaveth Hadra is a bit annoying with the constant need to switch over. Um, using the genie genie's power to switch over to turn off all the sandstorms. Yeah, this seems like a pretty cool mechanic though that they've included. A new, I forgot what you're called, but yeah, it seems like little helpers. I forgot what their names are. Pad Padi Pari, I forgot. But yeah, we can fly for some reason in areas that we can't normally access. Wonder what that's all about. Makes me wonder if there's a, going to be a new world quest as well for this region. That there, there likely is. Who knows? Maybe it will include uh Jen and Jet and uh, Ben Ben again. But uh I mean the previous dirge of Bilky's uh story quest world quest, sorry, um already gave us quite a quite an ending of sorts. I wouldn't say it's complete, but I wouldn't say it's incomplete either. Alright, this new enemy, new boss enemies. I admittedly have not been catching up to all the bosses. So yeah, the Inquitus Baptist, which can use multiple elements, which is cool, but at the same time terrifying. I'm just not good with enemies. Yeah, then we have a couple of uh, Healy Trolls as well. Sorry, give me a sec. Alright. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, it would be nice to see all the new different types of Healy Trolls. So, all the different elemental Healy Trolls. Um, from the animal ones to Hydro. And hopefully in the future we'll also get uh, other elemental forms. Maybe just like the different Aramites that we have at the moment, you know? I think they'll be a pretty cool addition. And I believe we'll be seeing more of them in the current world that we have in Teva. That'll be pretty cool to see. And yeah, who knows? Maybe they all have different, uh, differing uh, combat styles. So some with archers, maybe some could be catalysts. Could be very annoying though. But, you know, I think it's a nice welcome add addition, yeah. And then we have the new boss as well, the legendary dragon of Verdure, Apep, or Apep, I can't pronounce it properly. But yeah, uh, I'm not good with bosses. And it's a pretty interesting thing to know that um, the second phase of his fight is actually uh, something that you have to protect. Yeah, it makes me wonder what the backstory of this dragon is. Uh, which I can't wait to find out once again when we go through the quests together. And then the third phase is a bit more dangerous, apparently. Yeah. 
So it'd be really cool to see the story behind him and the connection to that uh, with Nahida. Of course, Nahida's story quest part 2 is amazing. Really love that we're getting this. And also makes me a bit scared as well. <laughs> yeah. And I think that's about it for this update. Along with the the unfathomable, unfathomable sand dunes. Pretty cool that we get more OST for Sumeru. I love Sumeru's OST. It's amazing. And I think that Hoyo Mix has done a really good job on the on the music overall for the whole of Sumeru. Things like from uh, everyone's favorite Port Almost music to the music that plays whenever... <clears throat> Yeah, the music that plays when uh, we remember for for those of you who know that the forest doesn't remember. That is a very sad music as well. At the very least, it was pretty chill music until Hoyovers made it sad. <laughs> but, you know, that's just how things are. Yeah. Last shot is amazing. And yeah. I'm surprised there weren't any new uh they didn't really talk about any form of uh updates. So uh any so things like uh TCG updates, you know, the different the heated game mode update. It's also a bit surprising that uh we weren't really given any more uh like any more optimized updates as well. So yeah. Makes me wonder what else we have. Uh, or at the very least, uh, whether or not they prioritize this update or this special program at the very least for just spilling out all the events as compared to uh, everything else instead. Yeah. But anyways, uh, this will be, this will mark the end of the, of my review and reaction to the version 3.6 special program for Genshin Impact. To those of you all watching on YouTube, uh, thank you so much for making it all the way to the end uh, do leave a like comment uh, comment about what you are most excited about in this new update and uh, or if anything that surprised you I know a lot of things have surprised me in this uh, new update and yeah uh, uh, do subscribe if you want to see me uh, play more Genshin Impact which I will of course when it comes out and uh, yeah, do head on over to Twitch to see me stream all of this live over the weekends when I do have time. So yeah, to all my YouTube viewers, thank you so much for coming and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.